start with what does this award mean to your 40 under 40 security first of all uh, thank you very much for this award uh, i am deeply humbled and i see this as an acknowledgement of the efforts that we are doing and especially in the area of integrating ai into cyber security and i see with the help of this award it will help me do more with the limited time i have the efforts and the uh, the programs and the software that we are developing i hope will reach more people and more organizations will be benefited by this yeah. thank you very much so uh, can you share the a key milestone in your professional journey that led to your recognition in this award my decision to come back to india uh, i was in the uk for 5 years uh, and i abruptly decided to come back uh, and i'm very happy uh, that i came back because uh, i came from uh, a strong ai background uh, with not no necessary background in cyber security it was my mentor uh, ranjan venkatraman who said you know you come over and we will take care of the rest and he saw in me that i couldn't see in myself so that is the biggest milestone so in uh, how do you envision the future of uh, security evolving under your leadership a stronger integration of ai and technology and ensuring the information that we derive out of this endeavor is used to empower the clients empower the organizations and empower potential victims in an empathetic manner often people are incapable or not able to understand jargons of cyber security and the cyber security field itself feels evolving every day so we want to make sure the information is consumable in a manner that empowers them so when you say that uh, you want to uh, you know mix ai and cyber security uh, how does it translate into real world scenarios yeah uh, can i can i elaborate for few 30 seconds or? yeah see ai is here already especially generative ai is already here hackers have the natural ability to use this more efficiently and you know use this for hacking purposes because they cannot be they cannot afford to be stupid they want to use this to evade law to evade detection and they are already using it i have seen uh, first hand the ex you know, extensive use of ai in everything uh, that they are doing in hacking expertise so what we as defenders we are trying to do is develop new and new ai technologies which can detect and defend ourselves from these malicious ai content that is what i mean by using ai and integrating ai into cyber security but how how do these translate into real world scenarios what exactly uh, like could you give us some examples one of the biggest examples that i had to think of that i have seen it already is uh, phishing campaigns previously you know usually the, you know, the phishing i'm sure you know you know what is phishing campaign i send it an email to you telling that i am some prince from you know some african nation and uh, you will get some award if i do some click something usually the algorithms that were detecting this were looking for spelling mistakes or behavioral uh, the language which would trigger some you know immediate action this is not the case at all now because the phishing email content can be beautifully made extremely specific to you as an individual you know taking your relative's name or you know the place of birth of your you know, village or city etc because everything about you is digitally present somewhere so ai tools are leveraged to package this to enhance the targeted success rate of phishing campaigns which is called sphere phishing so using ai it is possible to detect whether the email itself has been generated by another ai bot or not this is how i see uh, can be you know this is how the ai can be transformed into actual usable technologies to flag something as suspicious so right thank you so much thank you very much